What's up, guys? It's Matt from Rick Patriot News. Right next to me is Romeo. And today I have an article for you guys. It's from Just News. And it's about uh, the Speaker of the House, Johnson. He is looking to intensify the uh, probe on January 6th. That's awesome news. Uh, let's take a look. House Chairman says Speaker Johnson wants to expand and intensify of January 6th probe. Add resources. The House Republican overseeing the January 6th investigation tells Just the News that Speaker Mike Johnson has approved expanding the scope and intensity of the probe and increasing the investigative resources committed to it. Speaker Johnson has been phenomenal in helping us with this. Representative Barry Loudermilk, chairman of the House Administration Subcommittee on Oversight, said Wednesday night in an interview with Just the News, no noise, television show. In fact, he's given me a commission to not only press forward in the method we've been doing, but increase our intensity into this. Loudermilk inherited the January 6th probe when Republicans took over the House in January and has played a key role in releasing hundreds of hours of security footage, internal documents, and testimony that has markedly changed the public's understanding of the Capitol riot and events leading up to it. Just the News earlier Thursday chronicled nearly a dozen of, dozen of the revelations uncovered by Loudermilk's staff ranging from changes in the testimony submitted by a key witness for Democrats to glaring security failures by Capitol Police and the Secret Service that preceded the riot. Loudermilk said Wednesday he is also concerned that the Democrats' January 6th committee failed to preserve documents, data, and video depositions, including communications with the Biden administration even though it was required to do so. We've uncovered a lot of evidence that is contrary to what they were telling us. There's not only flaws in their report, there are some flat out lies in the report. And the further we go down this path, the more that we're uncovering. And probably one of the biggest things I think that we saw happen in the last year that we discovered had happened were the number of documents that were not preserved and were not passed along to our committee as the House rules mandated. We're going to find these documents. And the reason it's important is because I believe it's what's in those documents is why they don't want us to see it. Loudermilk said he recently briefed the new speaker on the progress his investigation made and the unresolved questions and got permission to expand. When Speaker Mike Johnson came in, one of the first meetings that he had was with me and I kind of gave him an update of where we are, Loudermilk explained. He was so impressed with what he found out we had been working on. He said, I will give you whatever resources and materials that you need to expand this investigation, to dig deeper and get the truth out to the American people. Johnson recently approved releasing more than 40,000 hours of all of the Capitol Hill security footage from the January 6th riot, saying that truth and transparency are critical. Following the release of the footage, Senator Mike Lee of Utah called for an investigation of the January 6th committee, alleging that the committee selectively ignored evidence. Former Representatives Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger were the only Republicans on the original January 6th committee, as then Speaker Nancy, Nancy Pelosi wouldn't allow two of the members chosen by then House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy uh, to participate. McCarthy then withdrew all of the GOP members he had chosen. The Supreme Court recently announced that it will hear a case that could potentially undo Capitol riot charges against hundreds of people, including former President Donald Trump. The justices said they will review the cases of three January 6th defendants, Joseph Fisher, Edward of Jacob Lang, 
and Garrett Miller, who were all charged with obstruction of an official proceeding, referring to how the riot disrupted the congressional certification of the 2020 election. On the same day, the judge overseeing the former President Donald Trump's January 6th case on Wednesday paused proceedings in the prosecution amid his appeal claiming presidential immunity. Loudermilk said the court actions could lead to precedent-setting rulings impacting the future of the presidency. These are landmark decisions that are about to happen, he said. We're treading into areas that we have never gone before in this country. I think this is great. Uh, the thing with Johnson is, uh, I'm going to give him credit, but the thing is, the person I think that deserves the most credit of getting Johnson in there was Matt Gates. Because if it was for Matt Gates, a lot of this stuff wouldn't be happening right now with January 6th, uh, with the investigation that Ladder Milk's doing and him uh, getting uh, permission from uh, Johnson to actually look into it harder. Because McCarthy, in my opinion, he wouldn't have done that. Not only that, right. he released the January 6th tapes. McCarthy wasn't going to do that either. He was holding both. He was holding this stuff back. He was trying to keep this stuff bottled up and make sure the information didn't come out. So if it was for Matt Gates, this wouldn't be happening. So he should get the initial data boy. Now, when it comes to uh, the investigation, where are they going to find out? They're going to find out. I think what most people already know, and that this was an inside job. Yeah, I agree with you. Look, Matt Gates risked everything. He would have either been his, a hero or a zero because um, we could have got stuck with Tom Emmer instead of Johnson. I'm very happy with the gamble that Gates took. I agree with you. And it's awesome that we have a Speaker of the House who's actually released 40,000 plus hours and is going to get to the bottom of what's happening. I'll tell you what, Matt. If I was part of that first January 6th select committee, uh, Kinzinger and Cheney and the Pelosi, the rest of them, I would be worried because, like the article said, they've lost these documents. And it's most likely on purpose because these documents are going to post point to things that they did to enhance problems on January 6th, not to resolve them. Yeah. Not only that, the other reason they probably lost documents because it actually confirms what Trump's been saying the whole time. That's the reason they lost the documents, in yeah. my opinion, because they knew that these documents, the, this, uh, the testimonies that they lost, and all this stuff they didn't use during January 6th would help Trump in in this uh, case that's going on against them. But Ladder Milk is going to actually proceed even going further and further. I think he is because Speaker Johnson's obviously giving him a green light to do it. But we're just going to have to wait and see what they find out. I'm hoping they find out the truth and let people know what happened that day actually happened and without any kind of bias involved in it. Yeah, like Show you, everything. Just show everything. Yeah, like you said, any evidence that tended to exonerate President Trump They've lost it. Well, no, I'm sorry. That's unacceptable. Let's see it all and we'll decide. Well, guys, this is the end of the video. We really appreciate it. Please hit that like button, comment, and share this out there, everybody. And if you would, please turn the notifications bell on. That way, when we make new content, you'll be aware. We're live tomorrow morning at 930 Central Standard. Please join us and have a wonderful rest of your day.